Hi there, Lindsay here, The Frugal Crafter, and I've got another fun way to make envelopes for you today. I'm showing you a new tool that I just got in the mail from Crafter's Companion. Um, they had sent me a gift certificate to use since I was published with some of their products in a magazine, and I decided that I really wanted to try out this uh, tool. It's called the Envelope Box Maker, and this is what the package looks like. Um, you get this nice large instruction guide, plus uh, directions on how to make both flat envelopes and also three-dimensional envelopes to hold your three-dimensional cards so you can make envelopes that are flat or one in, uh, half inch thick three quarter inches thick or one inch thick um, so it's really handy and also the sizes are in centimeters or in inches and I'm gonna use the inch guide I have a little paper clip there to keep me in place and uh, this is actually the first envelope I made just taking it out of the package and it was very very easy so I'm kind of excited to show you this so what I'm gonna do is make an envelope for this card here this is a Halloween card I made last year but didn't send it because I didn't have an envelope for it um, the size of this is five and a half inches by six or just a little under so I'm gonna make a five and a half inch by six envelope so to do that I'm gonna look at my chart I'm going to look at five and a half, look at six, and I see I need a nine inch square of paper. So that first measurement tells you what size to cut your paper. Then underneath it tells you on what lines you want to score. So I need to score an H and I. So here is my cut paper and I'm gonna score on H and I. So for a flat envelope, I put my paper in that first groove, use my scoring tool to score an H, then I'm gonna turn it and score on I, turn it, score on H, turn it, score on I. So you do, you know, you do the same score on the opposite sides, okay? As long as your opposite sides match, your envelope's gonna be fine to either be shown um, horizontally or portrait. Either way you, you wanna um, put your card in will be fine. I'm gonna cut off the corners. Oh, they, it usually looks a little bit better if you have it, um, you have the flap folding down the long ways. More of the more standard envelope size, but it is, does turn out symmetrical. So then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fold my two sides in on the score lines. Probably could crease it down with this flat edge of the tool. It's probably what you're supposed to do, but I'm just, just winging it here. My fingers will work just fine. Fold up the bottom flap, and if that little point bugs you, well, here's what you do. Snipperoo. All right, and then you just want a little adhesive on each side. Um, what I usually do is just cut a piece of double-sided tape, and I'll just cut it lengthwise. Or you can use some thinner, um, like score tape if you have it. I do have it, but it's all the way over in my drawer, and I think this is going to suffice just fine. You gotta make do sometimes. I'll close that right up, and there. Let's drum roll, please. Hopefully our card will fit. Let's see if I did this right. And yes, it's just about exactly because my card was was pretty close. I could have gone up a size, but there, that fits nice and neat. And um, I showed you how to make those star cards in the previous video. Well, here are the envelopes that I made for them, right here. So I just this is how I package them for sale at craft fairs. Actually, what I do is I put a little tag in a little slip of paper with my price, three dollars, and um, then I put the little envelope with the flap facing the back, so they can see that's actually an envelope and not part of the card. And then I just put it in a clear um, cello bag. It's actually a polypropylene bag, uh, which also happens to be food safe, and that's what I use to store my cards and put them on my booth for sale. So there you have it, the um, uh, envelope box maker from Crafters Companion. Do give it a try. If you're looking for a uh, envelope maker oh by the way it's like 12 bucks so it's cheap folks uh they do have a bigger tool that you can like pop this into but this obviously works just on its own as well so i want to thank you so much for watching i want to thank crafters companion for their generous gift certificate um publication incentive that was totally awesome i really enjoyed shopping in your online store they have some good stuff um and i want to thank you for watching if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe thanks so much for watching Bye bye happy crafting